Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Today I'm planting two apple trees, which I got at Home Depot recently. They were on clearance uh, at the end of the season. Oftentimes you can get uh, fruit trees and things like that at very low prices because, you know, obviously the stores want to sell them before winter time. Got these at 50% uh, uh, off, so each apple tree was only $12. And I'm going to be planting them here. Apple trees, fruit trees, peach trees, plum trees, you know, whatever grows in your area, are all great ways of having access to food during a extended crisis and I think as far as gardens go having fruit trees is one of the easiest ways to you know to get a bounty out of your garden you don't have to really do any weeding around them they just kind of do their own thing as long as you you know give them some fertilizer you know give them, keep them supplied with nutrients and you really don't even have to do that but that's really it it's a really easy way of getting uh, fruit, uh, fruit and food and all that kind of stuff for vitamins really good idea and if you get them at the right time of year, they don't have to cost you that much money. With these here, I'm going to be burying them into the ground. You want to put them flush with the ground that's around them so that you're not burying any of the tree that wasn't already you know, in the dirt in the pot that was supplied to you. You oftentimes want to put lots of good dirt around them. Here, this is all just, this is new construction area. This is clean fill and uh, clean fill doesn't have any real nutrients. So what I've, I heard a tree cracking in the background over there. Uh, so I brought a bunch of dirt from Red House. Uh, there are a lot of problems with Red House, but the people that were there prior to me, they did have a pretty good compost pile. So I grabbed a bunch of compost out of there, and I'm going to be putting that all around this tree, and that should keep it nourished while it grows its first roots out. I just got the hole all dug out, and what I usually do with the bottom is I'll put some of the high quality, like compost material, right at the base. I know some people will say you don't want to disturb the base, you want to kind of leave a, a pillar on the bottom. But I, I always just kind of put compost all around it. And, you know, this might not be the best way to plant a tree, but honestly, I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of trees. They all seem fine. I, I mean, people get really hung up on there only being one correct way of doing things. Uh, you know, oftentimes they spend more time criticizing others and less time actually doing stuff themselves. Uh, so I have some composted stuff in the bottom. I'm going to take the tree out here. Again, there's all sorts of people that would criticize me, like you're supposed to like, apply some sort of like a moisture, you know, whatever. You just pull it out. I have taken trees very successfully and uh, just pulled them up with a spade, thrown them off someplace else because I just want to relocate the tree. This one, they're saplings. And they almost always stick. I mean, you can be really cavalier, I find, with uh, planting trees, and it's not that big a deal. One thing that I do oftentimes do around the edges is kind of rough up the roots here uh, so that the roots are going to kind of fluff out into the uh, the soil that we uh, are going to put around it. Normally I would do this in the bottom, but you couldn't see it if I'm doing it down there. So I'm roughing this up a little bit. It's getting a little fluffy. Then put that down there. Again, you want to have this level here be just about with the level of the ground. It can be a little bit different. The tree's not going to sue you. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to take some of this dirt, fill it in around here, and that should be pretty much it. Just want to keep it nice and packed around there um, so that there's good contact between the roots and the dirt, and then I'll give it some water. Or maybe not. I mean, things are kind of wet. There's not just one correct way of doing things. So if you haven't thought about fruit trees, they're an easy thing to throw in. If you're going to put a tree up, don't buy a maple or an oak or any of those kind of things. I guess, well, oak trees give you acorns, I guess. But, I mean, think about if you're ever going to put a tree in to your house or your yard, why not make it something that gives you some food in addition to it? I mean, they're just as pretty as all the other trees, except they also give you fruit. That's it. Think about it, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.